Hello, what's up everyone? Okay, so today I want to share to you this little interesting project called password protection for static pages. So I have a use case where I, where I'm using a built-in GitHub pages uh, for my team. And in GitHub pages, unlike GitLab pages, there is no such thing like authentication. So I need to build the authentication. And actually I have little time, so I don't have much time. So I decided to look for out of the box solution. And in here, there is a three years old project, which really interesting. Uh, it provides like basic security, uh, like a password, like uh, for static pages. And the idea is we can create password for our page and then we can move the static site into uh, some folder and the folder is basically a hash version of the password. So let's get started. So you can go to this page and what you can do is, uh, suppose I have this uh, amazing little uh, page here, secret of my success is blah, blah, blah. And then I close the tag and then if I reload, I get this beautiful secret, right? And then in here, what happened is I want to implement this project. So what should I do? So I actually need to just copy two things. One is I just need to download the grunge patterns. And second is I need to basically copy the uh, HTML. So we basically move the index HTML to the new one. Okay, so let's get started. I'll download this file here and then um, I just move it to the, to the download folder uh, for simplicity and okay and in here uh, what come next is I need to copy that particular uh, file the crunch into the uh, here and then I just rename it uh, something like the same thing in here which is jpg jpg and in here I have it and what happened next is I need to create a temporary file which contains the previous file okay like temp folder I just move the index and CML to temp folder. In your problem, in your cases, you might want to move everything into temp folder because it can be like a huge uh, file, static files. But in my case, because it's only one file, I just move only one file. Okay, and now I just do touch the index HTML again. And now I just copy the raw data here into the code, which is available here. And then the next thing is you just need to run again the server. And then I can open this server down here and put any password I like. So for example, I just want to have a simple password here. And then basically I get this nice, uh, what is it, code or hash password. And then what happened next, I just move the uh, temp folder into the new folder and then after that if I do uh, list I get a new folder the hash version and now if I put my password in here okay sorry I'm sorry let me reload oh I haven't started okay so let's uh, run it again I put my password ada so uh, it can use the password, right? And I think this little tricks is uh, very simple yet effective. Okay, so is this secure? That's the question. And the author basically give us an answer. If your hosting service offer directory listing, a visitor can bypass the protection. Yes, uh, if they can bypass the directory listing, it is not very secure. 
but if they don't have it it's pretty much uh good enough at least uh they don't they need to know the password or the has for the full has of the directory to know it right there is no protection against brute force attack yes uh, if people trying to uh do a brute force there is no protection so we need to create a very very long password if you want to make it secure and the last one is the password has is part of the uri okay so uh, because the the hash version is part of the uri you want to make sure that you want to use https so there is no man in the middle attack but i think for uh what is it for something in in my use case where i where the data is not really like confidential but i just want to have a password uh to have like a basic uh what is it security i think this is enough but in more confidential data i really recommend you to do more and more uh authentication and an authorization layer if needed because this is only very basic 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 password and there is no protection against brute force attack okay thank you i hope you enjoy it